This is Brandon Walton with Cypress Learning Solutions. Today we're going to go through how to set up a tracker domain with your Pardot account. So where we're going to start is in our domain management section inside of Pardot. So to get there from the Lightning app, you're going to click on Pardot settings and go down to domain management. And up above here, we have our email sending domains. And down below, we have what are called our tracker domains. So tracker domains allow us to have special domains that allow Pardot to host content on. We can host our PDFs, we can host landing pages, um, our unsubscribe pages, and our custom URL redirects, and fun stuff like that. And the idea is Pardot is going to be able to track these domains, and rather than them being the default here, go.pardot.com, we can include our own branding. So in the example that we already have here validated is info.cypresslearning.com. Today, I'm going to be adding another tracking domain. Um, for cypresslearning.academy, which is going to be our new entity that we're very excited to be sharing with you guys. So one, make sure that you have enough tracker domains available. So tracking tracker domains are limited depending on your account. You can confirm that by clicking on the account settings tab, usage and limits, and go down to the section that shows tracker domain. Um, at the point of this video, we're still on growth, so we have three tracking domains. If you're on one of the higher level accounts, then you'll have more of these. So we've got one tracker domain, we can add a few more. So we're going to click back into that domain management portal, and we're going to click this big blue button to add a tracker domain. And I'm going to make this tracker domain go.cypresslearning.academy. We're going to create the tracker domain. And it's going to have a few steps here. So the first steps is it wants us to do this validation step. So what does this validation step do? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to create a text record here. It's just going to be at, so we're inside of GoDaddy, mind you. So we're built, we're adding, um, we're in the DNS management portal inside of a GoDaddy account. We're just going to add that validation key right there. Now, the next thing that we need to do is add the subdomain for this tracker. So tracker domains are subdomains. For us, this cypresslearning.academy is going to go wherever we host cypresslearning.academy. It could be a WordPress site or um, some other solution that we decide. But specifically, when someone goes to go.cypresslearningacademy, we want that to be managed inside of Pardot. So what we're going to do is change it to a C name. The host is going to be go, and it's going to point to go.pardot.com. We're going to do that one hour time to live, and that should give us everything we need to be able to validate this. And you can see right there that it is validated. Now, the next thing that we're going to do that I strongly recommend doing is enabling this SSL. So by default, um, this is not an, uh, a secure socket layer. So um, the difference is that you've got HTTPS, which means it's secure, which means information sent and received from this URL is going to be encrypted. So we want to have it encrypted. One of the nice things that Pardot has included is the ability to encrypt all of your tracking domains. So I'm going to click this button here for enable SSS or SSL. And it takes a little bit of time, so we'll see it processing here. We'll let it wait in processing. And then once it's done processing, we'll have it enabled, and then we'll just default it to SSL when it's ready to go. Um, and once you have that, you are ready to go, and you can use um, your tracking domain in your Pardot hosted landing pages, in your Pardot hosted files and content, um, and in your custom redirects. Thanks, and happy Pardotting. We'll talk to you next time.